start the cloud, please. Great, okay. And I should be hearable. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the iBug introductory Mac training course for Tuesday, October 19th. We are on our sixth lesson, I believe. We'll be covering our second part of Safari. But before we get into that, just remember our website, iBugToday.org, our social media, facebook.com slash groups slash iBugToday, Twitter at iBug, where if you have not had a chance to keep up with the latest Mac event and other Apple happenings, Herbie has you covered. Instagram is also at iBugToday. As far as our events this week, we have the iBug Android Insight uh, from 7 to 8.30 tomorrow. That's in Central, and all of these things are on Zoom. Uh, we have on Friday our iBug Night at the Virtual Movies beginning at 7.30 with the movie at 8. I don't know what the movie is, but people love, always love what's selected, so come and join us, and then the movie discussion afterward. And what else? We always have our um, our Mac Buzz. Well, that won't be until, um, oh, we actually, I think we do have one of those this week. Anyway, that is on Clubhouse, and that is from 5 to 7 p.m. And we have our regular um, iBug Buzz every Monday from 7.30 to 9.30 our mini buzz on Clubhouse every Tuesday from 5 to 6. So I hope you can join us for some of those. I am now going to go through our Safari questions. Um, Judy and Michelle and Elvia and some people were asking me about answers to the last five of them, but we'll still go through a few. So, okay. What settings can be customized in the web category of the voiceover utility? Who would like to answer that? Okay, did I? Um, all right, well, I assume I allowed people to unmute. So let's see here. Okay, so basically you can customize things like the web rotor, you know, that's in general. Um, you can customize whether Safari or VoiceOver speaks when loading a page, whether it speaks the summary, um, the way that items are navigated. So it just lists up different things in the web category of the VoiceOver utility. What are some items contained in the web rotor and how do you rearrange them? And Judy was asking our group a question about this on the other day, uh, Sunday, and I'm sorry that your rotor doesn't seem to um, <laughs> keep the changes yeah. you make. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, it, it went to Apple. They're gonna get back to me on Thursday huh. as to what the problem is. That's crazy. Yeah. So but it was fun. It was fun messing around with it. <laughs> yeah. You know, putting them in order temporarily. Right. And so what were some of those items that you put in order? Okay. Um, there was, I put like headings at the top and then links and visited links. And, and then some of the ones I didn't even, I didn't have checked and I put them way down at the bottom by doing command up and down arrow, moved All them right. around. So that was cool. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, uh, what settings should you be aware of in the navigation category of the VO utility? Elvia? Yes, Elvia. I'm not sure, but is it word wrapping? Um, that's kind of one of them that you know might know about. One is, you know, making sure that the keyboard VO and the VO cursor is synchronized with your keyboard item. Uh, aware of whether your VO cursor follows, ignores, whatever the, or the mouse pointer. Just some of those things that could affect website navigation. 
Okay, who wants to tell me what is quick nav? Elvia? Yes. Um that's where you can um do like first letter navigation. Um Yeah, and we'll use the quick like nav headings. rotor. What? Yeah, you, you could go quicker to headings by pressing H or Yep, that's part of it. Um, you can also, and we'll talk more about it in uh, tonight. There's kind of the different components of Quick Nav. There's the actual Quick Nav rotor. There's, um, you know, Cliff uses Quick Nav religiously on his Mac rather than pressing VO left and right. It just lets him press left and right to move around. And hey, who wouldn't mind not having to press a few extra keys? Um, so, yeah, we'll talk more about Quick Nav. Um, how do you get to the Safari address bar? Michelle? Yes, Michelle. Uh, I think it's Command L. Yep, you go to a web location with Command L. Perfect. How do you clear Safari history? Okay, well, if no one has an answer, going once going twice, you basically go to the Safari menu and into um, clear history. You may be able to clear it out. I'm trying to remember if there was actually, no, I think you have to go into the Safari menu and then um, down to clear history. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Okay, aside from specifying a home page, what are the other options for opening new tabs and windows? Okay, so basically you could choose to, as I do, you know, have Safari tabs or windows open with a, an empty page. You could have them open with certain tab groups or your favorites or a start page. So, so there's, you know, just a few options. Um, okay, we're moving through these quickly. What information can be autofilled? Elvia? Yes, Elvia your uh, name and username, password, credit card information, mm -hmm. contact information. Very um, good. Yes. All right. Let's see. What category contains options to turn off cross-site tracking? Probably could have worded that a little bit better. Basically, to enable, you know, to enable uh, the prevent cross-site tracking and to remove cookies. Michelle? Yes, Michelle? I think you just told us that a little bit ago in the privacy. Yep, excellent. Go to Safari Preferences with Command Comma, go into that toolbar and look for privacy. Okay, um, let's see, the last one. Where do you find the option to press tab to highlight each item on a web page? Elvia? Yes, Elvia. Oh, I'm not sure, but is that under the advanced? It is. Very okay. good. Okay, great job, everyone. So I'm going to turn off this display and let's get started with the lesson. I'm going to share my audio. In the meantime, we're basically going to talk about the various methods of navigation in Safari using Quick Nav, using um, just regular VO commands, the web rotor. I'll talk about getting into bookmarks, um, different ways to read content, filling out forms very briefly. Um, and okay. Stop share. You have started computer audio share. Okay. Oh, did I mute all see? unchecked? Allow participants. Okay, there we go. Safari. Safari. So I'm going to open. I don't remember what I have open, but that's okay because we're going to type in a web address. So I'm going to do that by doing Command L. Open location. W. 
And I'm just going to start typing Contents in Apple this. And as I type, what I type, um, the Safari will probably try to guess right away, and I won't even need to type in very many letters. So if I do A, Selection replaced. oh, hold Eight. on. I forgot to mention, if you want to just do a web search, um, the other day I was just, I thought I would maybe demo this, and there's too many other things to cover. But, you know, let's say, you, okay, well, you just want to search for keyboards or whatever. Type in your word in the address bar, press enter. It used to be that I had to press DOJ to get into the web content. Um, most of the time, you don't even need to bother with doing that. And you use your headings or whatever to get to your search results. But let's go into Apple this. I'll type A. A. P. At Levi's.com. Apple and this. At Levi's. I didn't even have to type very much. Completion Why? Because of that website history, I will press enter. HTTPS colon slash slash www.applevice.com. Closing menu. HTTPS colon slash slash www.applevice.com. Insertion at beginning of text smart search field. Edit text. Displaying alternate items. Apple this web content. Jeez. Okay. So that took forever and a day. Normally I would be pressing control to silence VO because I hate hearing it just read out all this stuff. But then it made that little sound at the end. So I know I'm in my web content. By the way, if you want to still hear the number of things that are on the page, a way to invoke that summary command is VO shift I. Apple this page has 32 headings, 90. Oops, but I cut it off. Anyway, I didn't Five mean to visited do that. links. Four form controls. One web spot. Eleven landmarks. Seventeen auto web spots. Three buttons. And the list goes on and on and on because of the things we have selected in the web rotor. The next thing I'm going to do is turn Quick Nav on, and I do that by holding down or by pressing and releasing left and right arrows. Quick Nav on. And I am now going to show you the quick nav rotor. With the trackpad, you can twist two fingers to the right or to the left to move to your next and previous category, maybe from headings to links to buttons, and then you, you know, twist two fingers to the left and you move backwards. The way we do that with the, uh, with the keyboard is up and right to go forward and up and left to go backward. So if I press up and right. Characters, words. Window spots, content chooser. And some of these things I did not, they're not part of the web rotor, but you still have to navigate through them in order to get to the main categories in your web rotor. Headings. So I have headings here. I will down arrow and then we'll move to the first heading. Heading level five, main menu. Which oddly enough is a heading level five if I down arrow again. Heading level five, user account menu. And again. Heading level one. Welcome to Apple. Oh, this. I didn't sign out of the site I was going to show you, but anyway, I will do that. So, um, we could just keep looking at headings. I could do down heading arrow. level two, getting started with your first Mac, iPhone, iPad, and down arrow heading level again. two, latest posts and update. Okay, but that doesn't really give us an idea of what is after each heading. What is the text in between the headings? We could also look at links. We could do up and right to links. get to links and then down arrow. Heading level three, link. British English heading level three, link. What Apple unleashed at the October event. And then up arrow to get to the previous link. And that's all well and great. But I actually want to go to the beginning again of the site. And sometimes with VO in Safari, VO Home might only, or VO FM left arrow, might only take you to the top of an article or a section. If sometimes I found it, um, if I want to get to the very first item actually on the page without having to go all the way up to close or whatever, I would do VO Shift Home. Link. Skip to main com. Okay, but another way, my favorite way to use to kind of navigate is using the single key website navigation. So you have your regular quick nav rotor and the other part of quick nav is single key website navigation. And you toggle that with VOQ or you toggle that in um, commanders and then the 
quick nav and whatever, but it's much faster with VOQ. Single key quick nav off. It was off. If I toggle VOQ again, Single key it's quick on. Nav on. And so then I could do H for heading. Heading level five. Messages. Oh, five I... minutes ago. All right. Cal I do. Let me. I'm Application. Wi-Fi. To... Do not disturb. Toggle. Thought that was on. Okay. Safari. Fix that. I just did VO shift O and then Main VO menu. right. And so there we go. Now I can do, so H for heading. Heading level five. User account me heading level one. Welcome to Apple this. And you can do shift to move to the previous heading. Heading level five. User account heading level five. Or link. You can do L for link. link. Submit content. Apps. Link. Forum. Link. Blog. Link. V for visited link. Podcast. Visited link. Getting started with your. Uh, B for buttons. Semicolon. Any. Filt. Apply. Button. Um, this is not the best way to navigate. I'm just trying to show you. You can do F for text, text fields. field not found. Um, and it's not found. So then I would have to do Shift F. If I had wrapping on, then I probably would be able to do F, and it would go wrap back around. But I can do Shift search F. Search text field blank. Which brings me to the search field. And so let's say I actually want to do a search. I'll begin typing in Monterey. Has anyone talked about Monterey in the Applevis community? Who knows? So we'll start typing M. For same heading, search text field, o, blank. N. Our large and active community welcomes everyone from T. table not found. So what's going on? It's not actually entering text into the field. This is because the quick nav single key website navigation is enabled. And so what I'm typing in is being processed as kind of those quick nav commands. So if I go back to the search field with shift F. Search text field. Oh, blank. and I forgot to tell you, um, I thought of something. I think it last week, Doc or somebody asked me what was the equivalent of the JAWS key tab or insert tab. Well, VOF3 will tell you what item has focus in your VO cursor. So what item your VO cursor is on. If I do VOF3, search text field is in the voiceover cursor. It'll tell us um, later on if I actually forget where I am, which I frequently do because I'm busy yakking. And um, then we'll try that VOF3 again. I'm going to turn off quick nav by pressing down left and right arrows, pressing and releasing. Quick nav off. And now I will type in the word Monterey. And that Monterey. now, as I was top typing, we didn't hear any next uh, same heading or different heading, whatever some of those commands are. By the way, N was taking me to previous and next auto web spot. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and press enter. Link, skip to main content. And there we just did a search. Now the beauty, I'm going to turn quick nav back on again. I could have just pressed VOQ. Um, quick nav on. But one real advantage with using your single key website navigation is there are some sites which make extensive use of heading levels. For instance, Applevis, I know that my search results are going to be at heading level three or after practicing today and you know going through this, I was reminded sometimes if I don't come to a site that often, I might forget. But the point is you can kind of learn some of these techniques. Um, and what I do is if I'm coming to a site and I'm not really in a hurry, I might start at the very beginning. And with quick nav, we'll just kind of do that now, but you can voiceover in your Applevis article, it talked about how voiceover processes info in web chunks. So with other screen readers, you navigate the web as if you're reading up and down a document with your up and your down arrows. In Safari, you use the right arrow or left arrow it with quick nav on or VO right and VO left with quick nav Link. off to move by web chunk or maybe it's a paragraph, maybe it's um, who knows exactly how that works, but that's just a difference. So if I write arrow, banner, banner, visited link. In actually, that will show you more of what that is like when we actually get into an article. But I'm going to now just press um, the number three, and I'll show you that takes us to our first search result. Heading level three, link, voiceover improvements in upcoming Mac OS Monterey. How do we know it's our first search result? What I like to do in Safari is 
kind of some contextual reading, so I will press left arrow. Heading level two, displaying one four of four. And so then it actually says displaying. Um, that's a heading by itself, and then you immediately go three, into link voiceover the search results. Okay, but that's not really the purpose of, we're actually going to go into a different thing to read an article. So I'll do command left bracket um, to get to actually, so command left bracket goes back. Another thing we could do is look for the home link. And in addition to the quick nav rotor and our single key website navigation, we also have a genuine web rotor. So we had to organize the categories in the web rotor, which applied also to QuickNav. But if you want to get the web rotor, basically presents different lists of links, headings, buttons, and whatever. Um, kind of like doing insert F6 or insert F7 with a window screen reader. But you have those lists all in one area, which you access with VOU. Headings menu. And so we're in headings, and I can right arrow to links. Links menu. And then I could just down arrow. Link. Skip to main content. Visited link image home. Um, and I found home. I could have also typed the letter H to get to home, but I'll just press enter. Visited link image home. And as with the home. item chooser, pressing enter only takes you to that link or item or whatever it is. You have to press enter to activate it again. And by the way, um, you can use this web rotor with QuickNav on or off. There are three ways to activate links, and I will be using them interchangeably, so I'll just press Enter here. But with QuickNav on, you can also press up and down arrows together. That's the same as VO space. So here we go. Link. Let's just skip go to, to main content. Okay. And now I want to, I'm just going to use B for visited links. Why? Because that'll be quick, the quick way to get to what I want to have us go into. Home. Visited. Link. Image. Podcast. Vis getting started with your first Mac. Visited. Link. Okay, what if you didn't feel like putting, uh, setting this as, what if you didn't want to press V several times? What if you just wanted to come to this spot automatically? Um, without even having to, you know, use other navigation, whatever, look for links. You could set what's called a web spot. And I'm actually going to remove the one that I set here. Web spot set. Oh. Sweet spot set. Okay. Well, it looks like I actually. Web spot set. Web spot removed. Okay. There we go. Oops. The point of all that, I thought I had actually set it and then forgot to remove it. See, I do these practices and then I forget to undo what I did, but we can still find another link. Let's say you didn't really want to read about getting started with your first Mac. Bullet Maybe. two three link. Getting started with your first iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So maybe you want to set that as a web spot. And what if you don't remember how to set this as a web spot? Or the keyboard command is very difficult to press. So one thing you might do is look in commands help. We talked about that several weeks ago. So you could do VOH. Voice of command help menu 15 items. Type in S E T. Or you could also try to type web. But when I did that, I had like 20 some results to get through. But if I just type S. 270 e items, three items set as a window spot control option command right brace. Set the sweet spot control option command right brace right brace. Okay, I'm not quite sure what setting something as a sweet spot. I think it means like it monitors that, so it'll report changes. I don't know. Set web spot control option command right brace. And so setting a web spot and you would do that then you'd press enter. Web spot set. And then you would either use your quick nav rotor. So up and right arrow to dial to web spots or VOU. Um, and then right arrow over to the web spot category. Ironically there is no keyboard command to move to a web spot. But that's how you set a web spot. And then you would, I think you would press, well, you could just look for the word remove, and then um, that's how you would remove the web spot. So let's actually go into this link here. I will press up and down arrows together. Link, skip to main content. And now we will find what content it is available here. Again, I'm just going to type the number, well, 
I'll let you hear Diner. a little bit of how the site is structured. So basically, I'm pressing right arrow to go forward. Banner. Visited. Link. Image. Home. End of. Banner. And the thing I like to skip past all this, it, you know, some of this is just extraneous stuff. So if you know exactly what you want to go to, um, another thing I could actually do is search for um, the word getting, or I could um, just trying to narrow down my results a Navigation. Bit. Main menu. Heading level 5. Main menu. List 8. I link. Submit content. Link. Apps. Link. Forum. So you have all of these link, things to get blog, through. For visited, link. And so just pressing right arrow or via right is Five very time consuming. So if I just do press the number three to get to the heading level three, if you aren't familiar with the site, then unfortunately you'll be spending a lot of time listening to this type of stuff until you figure it out. Um, or if I, most of the time, my internet browsing consists of doing Google searches. So I will try, once I load a site, I'll press H for headings. If that doesn't work, I'll try to move to articles. If that doesn't work, I might try to enable the reader view. So it's just a matter of figuring out what's going to work with each site. Link, bug tracker, link, guides. Okay, seven so if eight. I just press three, we get the idea. We're still going through all the other links. Heading level three, link, a beginner's guide to using iOS with voiceover. Okay, and so then we get a beginner's guide to using iOS with voiceover. Um, this is a little bit different. I was actually looking at the beginner's guide to using Mac OS, but since we came into the Home. iOS Vi category, oops. Last visited link. Okay, Home. and somehow I ended up on visited links. So let me just get back to heading level three link, a beginner's guide to using iOS with voiceover. But this will still serve our demo for how to read through content. So let's, um, I'll press up and down arrow to open this article. A link. Skip to main content. And so now how do we find the actual text of the article? The Apple this site makes use of something actually called articles. And if I up and right form controls articles. And then I down arrow. Member of the Apple this editorial team. Image in article. And so then what happens if you right arrow end of article? It's not actually the end of the article. It's just this little area that's marked as an article, but... Heading level three, intro. Then you actually have the main text. So that's one way of getting to content. It might have just been easier to press three for heading level three or turn our rotor to headings and then uh, navigate to the appropriate heading. You can use VOA to read all from your cursor position to the end, or of course a two finger flick down on the trackpad. So if I just start that now. Heading level three, intro. If you're new to or thinking about getting an iOS device, you may be wondering, as I did when I got my first one, how exactly can a person who can't see a screen use a device whose primary input surface is one? I would soon read. Okay, so when it made that noise, that, that was all one shot. So near now, you can also just read through However, by pressing, and I'm pressing control that is to just stop that. Okay. Us. You can also read through again so, so just by pressing right arrow to move forward I would soon a chunk. Keep in mind, I would soon realize that it wasn't nearly as crazy as it sounded, and that I could do things with it that I couldn't have imagined that would increase my level of independence and improve my overall quality of life. However, if you're just getting started, a level of information. All right, that's quite a bit. Or you could turn off quick nav. Quick nav off. And here you could actually use up and down arrows to read through as if you were in a document, but you cannot, navigating a website this way is not effective. So turning quick nav off in Safari um, and using the up and down arrows, you could always use Safari with quick nav off, but to read content the best, and you want to use your up and down arrows, the best place to do that is actually within the text of an article. Series of tips information on the internet can be overwhelming. That is why in this guide, I will provide a series of tips organized by heading and subheading, along with links to more comprehensive. And so that's just one line. If I arrow guides down... Guides and podcasts from across the Apple this website. Keep in mind that this guide is not intended to describe specific features, but rather to explain. And so now we're just reading a line at a time. If we want to move by word, this is a little bit of a sneak preview with text edit. 
Option right arrow moves forward a word. Specific feature, but rather to. Option right arrow moves back by word. To rather. Oh, I meant okay. Rather Option to. right arrow moves forward by word. Option left to. arrow rather. moves but back. Features by specific word. describe to. You can always do V O S to read your sentence, V O W to read your word. We'll go over some of this in text edit. And so that gives you an idea. I am now going to turn my quick nav back on. Quick nav on. And I'm going to enable the reader. This, if you remember, as we went through the menus in Safari, is found in the view menu, but we can also just press Command Shift R. And I just want to go to the top of the page. Link. Skip to main link. Banner. Banner. Visited. End of navigation. And you have main all link. Heading level. List links. eight. Link. Submit link. Apps link. For it link. But if we turn on the reader, for it link. Go to the top. Skip and then to we main. Turn on the reader with Command Shift R. And then I um, left arrow or VO left, same thing. Okay, we're at the very beginning. If we right arrow. Heading level one, a beginner's guide to using iOS. Heading level three, intro. And that just strips everything out. So you get all of those links out and you just have the main text right here. If you're new to some sites, again, I've seen websites where if you try to turn on the reader, you really can't read some of the content of whatever it is um, but on some sites the reader works great so now I'm just going to I would soon re keep in mind that um, so again we can use you know right arrow to move by chunk and left arrow to move back so you're basically using right and left to move through content or via right and via left or you're using your rotor or you are using your single key website navigation, um, or you could use the web rotor, you know, when you're in a main, well, right here, there's really no use for it, but there's just lots of ways to navigate. Okay, I'll disable the reader. Hide reader. And now let's go to, I want to actually um, show you how we can fill in usernames and passwords. So I'm going to go to the top. Article. And out of a beginner's guide to using iOS with voice over vertical line Apple this web content. Link. Skip to main con. I'm going to look for the logout link because I did Enter sign out of my account. Enter Let's search see. text. Log. Link. Visited. Logout. Link. So what I did is I did VOF. There is a difference between the voiceover find, which is VOF, and just the regular find on the Mac, which is Command F. The first instance did not find, I typed in log and it took me to blog. And so then I did VOG and that took me to log out. So if I press VO space, why am I pressing VO space? I don't know, just my fingers are here. Even though Quick Nav is on, it's the other way to access the link. Link, skip to main content. And now we have logged out. So if I do F. Search text, last text field. Okay, then what I need to do, link. I know there are some sites will automatically present you with the login thing again. So let's actually find login using the web rotor. So I can do VOU. Headings menu. And then right arrow to links. Links menu. And then I can narrow down my choices here if I start typing L. Visited, link, login. Oh, there you go. And then I press enter. Visited, link, login. And then I press enter again to um, activate that link. Username required, edit text. Closing menu, username required, edit text. Closing and, menu, okay. username required, edit text. I enter don't know your why. Apple this username. The voiceover keeps repeating that, but basically, and then it made this little sound. I don't know how to um, emulate it, but it is indicating that there is not only info to fill, but, um, well, I think it is just info. It didn't say anything about my password. So at this point, I could down arrow. About. Link. About. Ah, but my quick nav's on. So, see, I even forgot where that my quick nav was on. And so if I just wanted to do everything with quick nav off, which a friend of mine does in Safari, and that's just easier for him, he would use VO command J List to seven. get to the first text field. 
um, with quick nav off via command J gets to what are called controls and unfortunately that also encompasses uh, buttons that I think it even includes checkboxes and things um, or VO command H to go to heading VO command L to go to link but you can't um, go to I think VO command B takes you to the next bold text so there's not even one to get to a button so the commands that you can use with quick nav off are definitely more limited so if I go to the top of my blank. page here again and I do F search text field blank. and again F to go username to required edit text and then Cl I turn, username oops username quick required edit off. text closing menu username required edit text quick nav off and then I Enter down your arrow this username and it tried to make us if I down arrow again. Janella Malin. and then I press enter Janella Malin. enter your Apple this username and then it entered that and if I VO right you'll hear it entered the password why I didn't have to use my fingerprint for that I don't know I also did not feel my Apple watch uh, give me a little haptic sensation so I may have accidentally turned something off on my Mac I don't know but ideally what you would do you'd get to your username you would feel right or you would tab to go into password it would tell you to you know use your fingerprint and then you'd fill in your password enter your Apple this username but I'm pressing via right here so you can kind of see password 30 characters password required secure edit text I don't know why I have a 30 character password but anyway then I would just press enter to log in link skip to main content and that's how simple filling in your username and password can be on a website the final thing I wanted to show you for Apple this is which you will apply to downloading the Mac and talk podcast from iBug today is how you would download audio files um, this lesson is covering a lot I do apologize for that what we want to do is go to a visited link that I uh, well it's visited because I've gone to recently is podcast so I'm just going to type the actually my quick nav is off if I do VO command V home visited link in that it. does work to get to visited links um, so podcast visited link I could have also turned quick nav on and done V I could have also used VOU or up and right to visit it there's just a number of ways to navigate I don't expect you to try to follow me on all this I just just try to be aware that there are these different methods and then play around with them to find out which navigation method you like best and some may be more appropriate for certain sites or situations um, if you're going to be filling in lots of data you know if you have a huge fill form to fill out you may want to have quick nav off if you are trying to just find stuff if you're googling and you want um, you may want to have quick nav on if you're on a recipe site you may need to turn quick nav off so that you can move line by line in your recipe so it's very website dependent okay I forgot where I was at because I was busy talking so let's try that VOF3 podcast visited link is in oh, the voiceover perfect. cursor that's what I'm on so then I can just press enter link skip to main content and what I want oh another cool thing so websites have these links called skip to main content again sometimes they work great sometimes they don't if I press um, enter on it I was about to say up and down but my quick nav is off so if I just press enter main. then it takes me to main if I via right list one item visited link home list uh, right from list okay visited, well it kind of took me end of the end of heading level one podcasts okay so I know also that my the first podcast entry will be at heading level three and so here quick nav on I think I'll just be a lot easier to pre to turn quick nav on press three heading level three link Apple this unleashed September 2021 just talk to it Thursday, right. September. and then what I want to do is actually look to where it says the whatever it is dot mp3 in this month's edition list two item bullet one of the link recap of apples bullet two of link kuo end of the link podcast link visited link iPhone 13 visited link 
Apple this podcast to 1440 MP3. So if we press enter, this is what will happen. 52. We hear the content playing. Skip um, back because button. So what I did Play. is I pressed via right to pause and then I did via space. Um, yeah, my quick nav was on, so I could have just done right arrow and then, you know, up and down. But I think fingers just revert to what you, I use most often. And anyway, if you wanted to listen to it this way, you would do that. Um, you could also VO shift M on the play button. And Skip back play button. Um, we could do that now. Menu, 10 items. And then VO down Find arrow. control, enter full screen. Enter picture, open video in new tab. Open video in new window. Download video. And just the reason I show you this, it says download video. All of these are MP3, but it brings up a video type player. So for some reason, it's just going to say download the video that way. Um, I don't actually want to download it this Closing. way. So we'll go back Menu. with command so, left bracket. Back visited link. Apple this podcast to 1440 MP3. So let's say you didn't press enter. Let's say you wanted to just see what was in the menu and you hadn't opened that file. You could do VO shift M. Menu, 11 items. And then down arrow. Open link in new tab. Open link in new window. Open link in tab group. Submit download link file. You can do download linked file, which would go to your downloads or whatever place you set up in Safari. So in general, we talked about you could choose, you know, is set by default to downloads, but some people might choose the actual downloads folder in iCloud or another thing altogether. So your file would go there or you could go to download linked file as ellipsis download linked file as and then you would still get to choose where that file is saved if i press enter download linked file as in dialog sidebar table no selection save okay as. i have had a heck of a time with saving in safari lately in terms of being able to choose a more specific location so the first thing we actually see here is a sidebar. Vertical split column view. Save as. Apple this podcast to 1440 MP3. Content select. So we, this is where you put in the file name. Tags. Tags. Tag back. Dip forward. Column view. Menu button. Change the item grouping. Hold down option. So you could actually choose whether um, the area where you choose to save is displayed in list or column view or whatever. Documents. Where. Pop up button. Okay, you have this where pop-up button, which is probably going to be the easiest thing to use. Um, and so we'll do that now. If I just be a space. Many 10 items, iCloud Drive, Archive. Let's say I wanted to choose iCloud Drive. So it's right there. I can press Enter. Closing menu. I can iCloud Drive. Then I can press where VO pop-up save button. To save and VO space. Apple this podcast, webcom. And it made a little tweaking sound. Closing so dialog. Okay, another thing we could do, let's find Apple another this MP3 podcast. file. Apple this, in Apple this breadcrumb, list one item. All right, and we'll go to... Home. Apple this last visited link, heading level, Monday. In this pod, podcast All link, right. heading level three, link. How to receive rain, Sunday, sep in this okay. pod, in Apple's hypothetical podcast link. Apple this podcast, so 1,430. Files, whatever. That's not so much the point. So if you don't even want to bother with the context menu, but you want to download a file, all you have to do is press Option Enter. Safari Biz in dialog, sidebar, table, no selection. And we get the sidebar thing. Um, Vertical sp column view, browser. And so... Save Let me Apple just show tags. You. Tag back forward column change iCloud show less options expanded disclosure. Okay, yours is probably going to say system dialog. Show Apple more options. Save an app tag where I show cancel show more options collapsed disclosure. And it'll say collapsed. If you press VO space, that will expand it um, so that you can actually choose a location. Save as. Save as the first thing we see when it's collapsed is Apple the save as. Tag where we I can show it. cancel save but verticals vertical split save cancel show more options collapsed dim expanded and then we go to the save top. as Oops. save as save as Apple this pop tags 
Okay, well. Save as app, tag, tag, back, forward, column, change the iCloud drop, show less options, expanded, di search text, new folder, sidebar, table, no oh, select. now let's put the sidebar kind of at the end. <laughs> That's interesting. Vertical okay, column so let's view, say browser. you want to choose your home folder, so you could do that. I could just press Command Shift H from here. Tags. Save as quick nav off. Apple and, disk save as save um, as unfortunately save cancel it column view want vertical to split be... sidebar table vert column view browser one item selected shared group four of four very cooperative. Um, so let's just say you've chosen a folder and hopefully this bug is fixed. And then you would just press enter Link. to save. Apple, this um, but Last I just one I just recommend using the where MP. stop voiceover. The where pop up Closing button dialogue. or using your um, just download linked file and you don't even have to worry about that. And text edit you'll actually see how save works properly. I was hoping this would cooperate, New but line. it did not. So there we go. So now we're going to go to the iBug Today website. And we can go to the address bar, but I want to show you bookmarks. So um, I need to make sure my bookmarks is showing. If I do VOJ. In table, default, tab group with one tab, selected. Okay, it's this random tab groups thing. So, default, tab, um, for some reason, with so Judy one talked tab, about table. the web rotor not saving the order that she puts things in. For some reason, my Safari is constantly showing a sidebar, even though I turn that off. So I'm just aware of that, and I have to do Command, Option, L. Show down two items. Oh, clear no, no, no. Button. That is Table. not what we Default. wanted. Um, we group. wanted to turn off the sidebar. But the important thing is, why well, I don't know why I was thinking it was Command, Option, L. Anyway. If we do Command Control One, show bookmark sidebar. sidebar that will group. show the bookmark sidebar. So if we, let's bookmarks say we were back in, in the Apple website podcast, content, banner, so here we're banner, know, just visited, looking link, at the whatever, and we want to go into home. the bookmarks. So we can do VOJ bookmarks table no selection, and then we have the list of bookmarks. If I down arrow, let me make sure my quick nav's off. Quick nav on. It Quick was. Nabble. Okay. I bug today. Home. And what do you know? I bug is the first thing because why I put it there. Now, last week I had it where my I came in here and it was showing all my other categories. Rather than favorites, at first it was showing, I don't know, temporary, reference, uh, transport, whatever. So I had to come in here. I had to interact. In bookmarks, table, I bug. And then I had to um, remember today. option up arrow always Home. takes you to the Road top. Three of fifty three level two. Favorites um, expanded thirty four items in closed. And my favorites was collapsed, and so the way I you can expand that or collapse it is with VO space. Row two collapsed. So now it's collapsed. If I do um, VO space again, row two expanded. It's expanded, and then you can stay interactive Out or not. But let's say you want to go into iBo today. So. Unfortunately, at least in the past, pressing enter on it hasn't always worked. So then you do need to interact. In bookmarks, table, I bug today. And make sure I bug today is in focus. And then I if bug you today, do video home, space. Visited, link, image, home, banner, web, visited, link, image, I bug today. And I'm going to show you another cool little bookmark trick as well in just a minute. But um, so basically, you would enable the bookmark sidebar with Command Control One if it's not already enabled. You interact and make sure your favorites is expanded, which yours probably is, and then you can look at um, the things you have in there and then go to them by interacting, and then VO space. Um, so we're on the iBug site. I'm just going to show you for the sake of filling out. Well, first of all, let's just link, take a look image. at the links. Let's Quick have a look on. around. I bug today, image. I bug today, image. And for some reason, I'm pressing right arrow. I'm stuck in this image thing that will happen from time to time if I and interact with VO shift up Out arrow. Visited, link, image. And I then I today. right arrow. Visited, link, home, link, about us. Visited, link, upcoming, link, training, link, podcasts, link, Android Insight, link, Mac and talk. 
So here's where you would go for Mac and Top, for instance. You could use up and down arrow to activate the I link. I visited link image. I bug today. And Vis then you could try to use heading. Heading level two. Mac and Talk recordings. And there you go. And then you should be able to figure out how to download the um, the content. So let's go back. I visited link Mac and. And this time I'm going to use VO Find to look for register. Um, so we'll do VO Enter search text. And then type Previous. register, R-E-G-I-S-T-E-R, -E Register to join iBug, free. Okay, well that didn't take me to it directly. If I do VO G. Register. Aha, so sometimes if you and your article on Safari, I think, um, explain this to you. If you search for something, the first instance of pressing VOF, it will take you to that general area or web chunk where that is. If you press VOG, it might actually take you to the exact part of that phrase and to the word that you're looking for. So what we need to do, if it gets stuck like that, you do VO right. Actually, you um, would uninterrupt text. with, because yeah, it's in the text. So then you would do VOG. Register. Visited link. And there you get the register visited link. So I will, pr I could have used V, but I just wanted to show you more about VO find. So I'll press VO space. Visited link image. I bug today. And now I want to, um, ah, excuse me, figure out this form. So visited link. I could just Up right arrow link, to try link, to get an link, idea. Link, visited link, 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 additional link. Additional link link head star indicates require heading level two. Register to become a and I bug member. Okay, so that's at heading level two and maybe useful for later knowledge. I don't know. Star indicates required. Email address star. Email address star required invalid data. Edit text. Okay, and from here it might be a good idea to turn quick nav off. If I did, I could down arrow and then it would let me choose it would bring up a menu of my email addresses another really quick way to fill out a form is command shift a that is the autofill if you're in the finder though that will bring up the applications folder if you're in zoom it will unmute your audio so you have to be aware of where you're using the shortcut but if we do command shift a Jalem Allen. Okay, that doesn't quite sound right. So just put in Chanel and Mellon. So if I do VO left. Email address star. And then VO right. Chanelum.allen at gmail.com. Content selected. Email address star required. Edit text with autofill menu. Okay, and so that put that in. Perfect. If I press, so sometimes you'll be filling out a form. And by the way, you can use tab and shift tab. Just sometimes if you use tab you may not know the context, you may not know the little description that is to the left of the field um, if the field itself is not properly labeled. I think these are all properly labeled, but we just press tab or not. Alan, content selected, last name star, required. Edit. Okay, so it somehow skipped over the first name if I shift tab. To open the autofill menu, press the up or down arrow key, then press the return key to enter it into the form. So the problem with that, too, is I think voiceover is too busy trying to give me the help prompt. And so it probably meant to say first name. So if I tab again. Alan, content selected, last name star, required, edit and text if I tab with autofill 8,324,775,303. Content selected, phone number, edit text with autofill menu. And so it took it a while there to read phone numbers. So it may have just been quicker for me just to... You know, VO left and VO right through here. Anyway, if I tab. HTML. Radio button. One of two list two items. Okay, but what is this HTML thing for? So again, I would have to use VO HTML left. HTML radio list two item. Email format. Ah, it wants to know what email format I prefer. And so then. List two item. HTML. Radio button. One of two. One of two. Um, I would just press VO space Selected. to check that radio button. Interestingly enough, in the rotor, or in, there is not, you have a VO command for checkboxes, you have a command for buttons, but not for radio buttons. Um, I think those you might have to access in your um, web rotor with VOU or 
I don't know what radio button. I've had that sometimes on the Metrolift site or other sites where it's a radio button I have to choose. And it's, I know that I have to get to a radio button. It's kind of a, even if I've been to the site before, I'm arrowing through a lot because there is no radio button category per se. Okay. So then we could go to HDN text, text, end of the list, subscribe button. The subscribe button, which we're not going to do. But um, that's basically how you fill out forms. Um, there is, I used to demonstrate filling out the Bookshare membership form. We're starting, there's many more fields there. Um, also, if you want practice filling out forms, um, just put in there, you know, test or something, but Herbie, we're gonna, going to his website next, but he has a form for uh, potential broadcasters. And so anyway, some of the fields there are interesting and what is autofilled. So you always wanna check over what your Mac autofills. Um, for instance, I think it actually wrote out the word United States or something in the fo phone number field. So. Anyway, let's now, let's say I wanted to get back to the AppleVis site. I could go to my history, but if I, I have arranged things in favorites. Um, if you have, let's say there are, you know, five or six websites that you visit often and you just want to be able to get to them quickly. If you go into edit bookmarks and you order the sites that you want, um, you can get to them by pressing option and the numbers one through nine. I think I've set Apple this at number two. So if I did option two. Heading not found. Um, or Heading not found. Let's try command option two. Home, Snow Isle Libraries. Try Libby, our new app for enjoying ebooks and audiobooks. Okay, well, that's not quite. If I do command option one, that should take iBug us back today. to iBug. Home. Website not secure. Um, I must not have quite but anyway, the important thing is, loaded. that's yet another way to access your bookmarks um, or to get to sites quickly. All right, but now let's go to, there's on Herbie's website, I'll actually show you a web table. Open location, www. So I'm doing Command L. So Content selected, nine, selection replaced, 98.6, the mix home page. And it already has that, so I'll just press enter. Closing website, not secure. 98.6, the mix home page, web content. Okay, let's say I've browsed this site for a while, and I know I want to save it as a bookmark. How can I do that quickly? Command D. I could also go into the bookmarks menu and add bookmark, but if I just type Command D. Add bookmark in dialog. Favorites. Pop-up button. Add this page to. And so add this page to favorites pop up button here in this pop up button. Ninety twenty five items check temporary travel and trends medical recipes UHC all my different bookmark e. folders that I've created. Um, but leaving it in favorites is fine. So I'll just press escape. Ninety eight ninety eight point six. Um, except it took me out of the whole thing. So I'll do command D. Add bookmark in dialog. Add this page to favorites. Ninety eight point description edit text blank. You can put in a description. Cancel but add default button. And it said add default button. By the way, the default button is, you can always activate that by pressing enter, no matter where you are in a dialogue. Usually that works. So I'll press enter. 98.6. And there we go. So now I am going to quickly get to the schedule link. Um, I'm just going to do my. Quick nab off. Oh, quick, quick nab, nab on. Is already on. I always forget. So I'll. Characters, words, window spots. Actually, it'd be a lot easier just to press L for link. Home, listen, schedule, visited, link, website, not secure. Enter. Safari busy. Okay. It's busy. Why are you saying busy? I do not know. But. It's busy. B zoom finder, finder, zoom, Safari. B busy. All right. So let's quit Safari. Busy. Finder, zoom meetings, and window. I close window. Chanel Lely, Zoom Us, Sit Doc, Doc System Safari. Preference, Zoom Us, System Dot, Safari, Untitled, Window, Toolbar. Okay, but this gives us an opportunity to search our bookmarks. So if I do VOJ, A Table, Default, Tab Group with One Tab, Selected, oh, why is it Toggle doing Tab that? Overview. Okay, we don't want that. So I'll do Command, Control, Toggle Tab, one. Show Bookmarks, Sidebar, Sidebar, and Group. And then let's say, the Back Button, Bookmarks. Bookmarks, scroll area. In bookmarks, search bookmarks, scroll area. 
to items search text field blank so we can actually search, search bookmarks. our bookmarks if i type in 986 and then i feel right bookmarks table no selection then what it should have done is narrow down um, that based on what we type bookmarks so if I do table quick nabble broadcaster application 98.6 the mix home page all right so it found that so then if i interact In bookmarks table 98 point bio space and that's a really long way of getting to that but i was just attempting to show you how you can search for uh, something you in your bookmarks so here Quick we go Nevon. let's try getting i'm just going to type in the Enter word search. schedule good evening we hope you have had schedule visited link and 98.6 the mix schedule page all right this page was last and if i go to my heading heading level one the schedule for 98 below you will find our active click on the link heading level two link everyday programming okay so the tip the table that shows um, will be affected by what link we actually link. click Sunday. on. So let's say we wanted link. to click link. on Sunday. Sunday. So I would do up and down heading arrows two. together. Sunday. And then that is shown at table six level columns, two. Six rows. But Sunday the important schedule. thing is this navigating the table. Um, it might be easier to have quick nav off. Quick nav off. And or just constantly use the VO left, right, up and down. DJ so name. VO left or VO right moves to the next column. Time of show. VO left moves to the previous DJ column. Name. Technically, VO command Y also does the same thing. Com VO command Y and shift Time Y. Time of show. Show title. Or shift Time y. of show. DJ name. But why you'd want to press all those keys, I don't know. So let's say we just now VO down arrow will take us to the next row. DJ Kali Kim and Jared Reimer, Missy, Mal Gadomod Herbie. So let's say we're okay, we're on Herbie. So then um, VOC technically is the command to read a column, but VOC is also the command to read a character. H. And so, yeah, it's just reading the letter H. So you might actually find it a more relevance to read the row. So if you do VOR. Row six of six. Okay. Then you do VOR again. DJ name, Herbie, time of show, 8 to 11 p.m. Show title, The Herbie Allen Show. Link, show description. A great way to transition from weekend to weekday. This is a variety show that plays music spanning primarily the 50s to today, covering multiple genres. Show heading level Oops. two link. And my finger was accidentally so what happened why this is not good to have quick nav on i accidentally touched the up arrow and so it went into the heading um so obviously herbie's show is not that important no anyway if i turn quick, quick nav, nav off on. and then table six oh, i guess it six was heading hmm. quick nav off well i don't know what that was all about maybe it just remembered from the last table um, six but anyway, DJ time of show you could and then you could actually then try to sort down by the time column 9 a.m to 12 to 3 p.m and then you could do vor row three of six and vor again with read time the row. of show 12 to 3 p.m show title the jared reimer show link show description featuring various okay but the thing is it doesn't go back Promo. and read the previous column so that's a pretty simple link, table DJ. to read um, Jared's contact. You could also toggle on that table Link. and group um, interactability thing, and you can do that in VO in the VO commands under web, um, and that's a table. And there's so there's lots. Navigating a table is as simple as using VO left and VO right, with using VO R to read your row, um, VO C to read your column when it works. And if you toggle on where you have to interact in the table, um, the toggle the table group interaction, then it might be easier to jump to the first and the last cell. But anyway, now Zoom I us. will move Zoom. to Zoom. your questions. System I'm sure dialogue. there's a ton of stuff that I missed. You are sharing but, all. Checked. Allow participants um, to unmute. Here we go. Now it is mute. now time for questions. You are sharing computer cell. And let me stop the share. Okay.
Elvia? Yes, Elvia. Okay, I I have not registered for iBird today at all, so I like that demo that you did, but I don't even, so if I've never even went there in the beginning, I wouldn't have that on my favorites, would I? No, um, if you just type in iBugtoday.org, mm -hmm. um, then you should be able to get there. It's I-B-U-G-T-O-D-A-Y dot org. Mm -hmm. And then just register and then all, then I can just save it onto my favorites that way? Like yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, but you'll just at least need to go there, you know, in order to download any of our Pod. You don't have to register to download anything, but if you want to get our announcements, you know, for when this class list goes away, um, you can definitely register and you'll get all of our announcements that way. Okay, well, is there anything I should go over again, or are we all tired, which I totally understand, and um, don't forget, next week is Mac and Talk, so you can come with your questions there. I will be here, you know, as usual, it's uh, 6.30, but then we'll have uh, Mac and Talk people coming in as well, so um, anyway. Elvia, I don't think it's we're tired. Anyways, I'm not tired. It's just a lot. <laughs> it is. I know. I need to do it to. Yes, kind of it, that's it'll make way more sense that way. Um, provided you can work through um, my little the quirks where. <laughs> yeah, that's what the kid was because throwing me out when you were getting all these things. I said, if it's happening to her and she's so good at this. Oh, Lordy, I hope I don't get crazy with this. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so you'll be fine. And I could, like I said, just be hitting the keys wrong or I could be tired myself. So we all, it happens to all of us. And um, yeah, well, All right. Well, there's no sense in keeping everyone until um, <laughs> 8.15. So if we're done, we are done. So I will, oops, talk to you next week. If not before, there's the Thank you. Uh, Mac Buzz. There's Thanks. Herbie's Club. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. No problem. Um, and there's always the list if people have any questions. Have a great did Herbie, and I don't know if any of you had a chance to catch Herbie's demo, Safari demo, um, where he kind of showed, you know, how he, um, this was done a couple years ago, but maybe that would be helpful or um, definitely if go back over the reading assignment because that will give you a lot of useful info. So, alrighty then. Well, I'm going to call it a day. Talk to you later. Good night. Bye. Bye.